Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Today's video is all about facial oils, but more specifically, helping you to find your perfect pairing. Finding that right facial oil for your individual skin type can seem so baffling, but I'm gonna take the mystery out of facial oils and help to share the benefits, but also some of my favorite drugstore products. Whatever your skin type and whatever your budget, there is a facial oil out there for you, and hopefully I'll be able to share them in this video today. So if you wanna sit back, relax, and learn a little bit more about facial oils, keep on watching. When it comes to facial oil, I think a lot of us are put off by the high price point which companies want to charge. They sound luxurious, they sound exotic, and so companies add a few extra coin to capitalize on that. But this just doesn't need to be the case, and there's some great drugstore yet super effective alternatives out there, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm going to break it apart by skin type to help match the right oil to your specific skin's needs, and also I'll show you some hints, tips, and hacks on how to get the best from whichever facial oil you choose. I think facial oils, first and foremost, are great for hydration. If you feel that your existing moisturizer just isn't doing enough, maybe it's just sitting on the surface of the skin without doing any real great deeper level hydration. Maybe you're left with dry, tight skin even after you've applied your moisturizer and you're just looking to step up your hydration game, then a facial oil could be a great addition to your own routine. Beyond just that, they have so many great benefits and I'm going to share them as we go through. So let's cut the waffle and start with the best hints, tips and hacks to get the most out of whichever oil you choose. The most common question I get associated with facial oils is what comes first, the oil or the moisturiser? And you read up online and there's so much conflicting information. Well, I say, let's just make it easier. And why not take a couple of drops of your favourite facial oil, the one that you choose, and add some moisturiser on top of it. Blend it in your hands and then apply it to the skin. This way you get around the issue of what comes first, the oil or the moisturiser. But beyond that, I just find facial oil absorbs better into the skin if it's combined with your moisturiser. If you use this hack, you won't be left with that layer of oiliness after you've applied your oil and everything just sinks in and works in synergy with the skin that little bit better. My second hack would be to definitely make sure you have a facial oil in your skincare routine before you start a retinoid. Often when we start retinoids and vitamin A derivatives, one of the key side effects is that dryness. It almost feels like we're walking around with a layer of dry, dead skin um, on the surface of our face. This can be really unpleasant. And one of the best ways to tackle this is with facial oil. It'll increase and supercharge that hydration, but it also helps to dumb down any inflammation or sensitivity that you might be getting from that retinoid. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful pairing. I would say make sure you have the facial oil in your skincare routine, maybe a month before you um, introduce that retinoid because that way your skin's already hydrated, nourished and ready to tackle some of the side effects you might see. Finally, it's going to come on to that price point again. Do not overpay. Do not allow companies to con you and charge you a super high price point for whichever luxury facial oil you go for. A lot of the oils themselves are actually reasonably inexpensive to extract, and so they don't need to command that high price point. The things you should look out for is organic if you can get it. It's not essential, but I think when you're looking at a single ingredient product like a facial oil, I think having that organic um, stamp will be beneficial. And also you want to look for cold pressed because sometimes heat pressing and heat extraction can denature these oils and reduce their overall efficacy and the benefits you'll see. So rather than just reaching for the most expensive one, look for one which is affordable and meets your own budget, but also that is cold pressed, uh, virgin and organic if you can get it. Now we've got the hints, tips and hacks covered. So whichever oil you choose, you're gonna be getting maximum benefit from it. Now let's come on to the perfect pairings and working out which are the best types of oil for each skin type. I'm gonna start with dry skin because I think dry skin is what we most associate the use of facial oil with and some fantastic options out there. If you're suffering with dry dehydrated skin you're going to want to look for a facial oil which is high in fatty acids and omegas because that's going to help to do that nourishment and bring back that hydration and multi levels within the skin. You're also going to not be too bothered about the thickness and the occlusivity of the oil because sometimes a thicker oil will be beneficial. The dry skinned amongst us do have the luxury of being able to use just about any facial oil out there. However, they're not all created equally, and if you're serious about tackling your dry, dehydrated skin, then there are a couple that I would absolutely call out and recommend. First of all is going to be jojoba oil. I think this is universally acknowledged as the most hydrating of all of the oils. It's packed full of those fatty acids and omegas, so it's going to give that real nourishment to the skin and help to tackle some of that dryness. It's also a really inexpensive oil, so you can find it incorporated in a lot of oil blends, which I'm going to come on to later. I've left some links to my favourite jojoba oil 
materials in the description box below. So I don't bore you with it all here and drag out this video too long. Just check the description box for my favorite drugstore recommendations. Beyond jojoba oil, you could also reach for Square Lane, which is a fantastic, inexpensive oil that again, just adds that nourishment and that hydration. Finally, I think marula oil can be so, so beneficial for dry skin. This is one of those oils that's often seen as luxury, bougie, and high price, and that's because it's often seen in the drunk elephant skincare range, which is ruinously expensive. In truth, marula oil actually doesn't need to break the bank, and I've left some really great affordable dupes for that expensive, bougie, drunk elephant marula oil. This is really great because not only is it super hydrating, but it's also calming and soothing, so it's a great option for people that have some associated irritation with their dry skin and kind of want to tackle the two in one. This will be a really great addition and I've left some links below. Now I just said when it comes to people with dry skin types they have the luxury of being able to choose any facial oil and they'll all add some element of hydration. I still think it's super important to choose the right one because you want to be maximizing the benefit. You want to go for the most hydrating out there which is why I recommended those three. However when it comes to oily breakout and blemish prone skin it's absolutely imperative that you pick the right facial oil to deliver all of those benefits but without exacerbating any of those breakouts or the acne that you might be seeing in the skin. This is my skin type and I was so reluctant to use a facial oil for years and years and years because the idea of applying an oil to my pre-existing oily skin just seemed so, so wrong. However, I bit the bullet and I tried some and oh, it transformed my skin. And I really regret not using facial oils sooner. They can be really great because if you choose the right one, it can actually dial back the amount of acne causing bacteria on the skin. It can also reduce the heal time of any breakouts you do have and help to support in the healing and eradication of acne scarring. This is so, so important because Often when we have a breakout, we reach for those drying lotions. We think the solution is to zap it of all its moisture, when actually that just prolongs the heal time of that blemish because dehydrated, poorly nourished skin takes longer to heal. So adding a facial oil into your routine can really add some benefit and cut down on the heal time of any breakouts you do have. When it comes to oily skin, the things you should be looking for in a facial oil is a lightweight one and also a drier oil. They're not all created equally and by going for a lightweight drier oil, then you're going to find it absorbs better into the skin and won't leave you with that oily mask, which can be really, really off-putting, particularly if you're used to having oily skin. The one that I go to all the time is rose hip seed oil. Oh, I love this. And this is the one that transformed my skin. In fact, I'm such a huge fan of rose hip seed oil. I did a whole video just on it, which I'll leave a link to up there. So check that out if you want to see some demonstrations and me talking through how I incorporate in my skincare routine. I use the ordinary rose hip seed oil because it's so affordable and yet it's also organic and has that cold press, meaning you're getting maximum efficacy. It works really well because it will add light hydration to the skin, which even people with oily and breakout prone skin need that hydration. We often forget that sometimes having a lack of lipids in the skin can be a trigger for acne and for flare-ups. And so actually nourishing the skin with something like a rose hip seed oil could be really beneficial. It's not going to clog the pores, so it won't cause an increase in blackheads and whiteheads, which is great. And I think this has had a real impact in tackling my acne scarring and those that hyperpigmentation from when a breakout just doesn't fade properly. Rose hip seed oil can be a really great addition. I also want to call out Tamanu oil. Now, this is one of those oils I think is going to explode in popularity in the next couple of years because Tamanu oil has been a recent addition, but it's taking the world by storm. This is one of those oils that just seems to do it all. It's antibacterial, so it's going to reduce the amount of acne causing bacteria on the skin, which is a huge ding, ding, ding before we start. It's also anti-inflammatory. So if you find that your acne presents as quite inflamed and red, then the Tamanu oil can really help dial that back and just reduce the amount of inflammation in the skin. Reduced inflammation is going to lead to less chance of hyperpigmentation and also help with the heal time of the acne and the breakout that you're having. It's just an all-around wonderful ingredient. I've left some of my favorite Tamanu oils below because I'm exploring with different ones from different brands. So click on some of those links if you want to read some of the reviews or make a purchase yourself. I just will call out, this is, this is my public service announcement to anyone out there with blemish-prone skin or with excess oil in their skin. Don't be afraid of facial oils. I was for so, so long and I missed out on all all the amazing benefits for so many years. There are definitely ones out there for you, but pick the right ones for our oily skin type. Definitely on board with the Tamanu oil and the rose hip seed oil. Both of these will add great value to your skincare routine without breaking you out, but also it will help support in fighting your acne and your scarring. Now, what about blended oils? So all the ones I've talked about so far are single 
oil types, which I think are absolutely fantastic. But what about those beautiful oil blends that the companies create? They create their own unique formulations derived of different blends of fantastic oils. Well, I think these can give great, great benefit to the skin and they can kind of combine the multi-action benefits of each different type of oil. So you're just getting that gorgeous all round hydration. I would say, however, if you have oily or blemish prone skin, stick to those standalone single oils. That way you can be assured that nothing else that's blended within it is going to trigger a flare up or increase the rate of blackheads and whiteheads in the skin. So I'd say for those with oily acne prone skin, stick to the single oils. For everyone else, you can explore some blends. And the one that I've been trying at the moment is this. This is the Fortify by Stratia. This has the Tamanu oil that I just fangirled hard over. And this is a great addition, even for drier skin types. I said it was fantastic for acne and blemishes. But it's also great for hydration. It's also got square lane in, which I mentioned when I talked about having drier skin and how nourishing and hydrating it was. And it's got camellia seed oil, which is great for calming and soothing the skin. This is an all round fantastic blend. And I'll leave a link to this below because I definitely think this is one you should try out if you have drier skin, maybe that's prone to sensitivity. This could be a great option. I'm going to leave a list of some of my favorite oil blends below because there's way too many for me to mention in this video. But I definitely encourage you to shop them if you're looking for that all-in-one gorgeous, gorgeous product. So there you have it, guys. My top hints, tips, and hacks and favorite recommendations for facial oils by skin type. I hope this video has kind of um, demystified facial oils a little bit and also help those with oily, acne-prone skin to know there is definitely a facial oil out there for you. If you want to know a little bit more about some of the individual oils, I actually broke apart the Ordinary um, Oil Collection, which I'll leave a link to a video up there. Check that out because that goes into the individual oils in far more detail than I could have fitted in this video itself. I would love, love, love to know your thoughts, feelings and recommendations when it comes to facial oils. So leave me a comment below and share any that you have. Wherever you are in the world, guys, and whatever your skin type, I'm sending you lots and lots of love and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.